Let's face it, antique and vintage collectibles are getting harder and harder to find. So today, join my friend Laura Jean and I as we recreate the look of antique clock faces and we'll do it on a budget. Hey you guys, hello and welcome. I am Lynn from LJ Goods and I have my friend Laura Jean here today. Laura Jean is from the Mobile Home Cottage. She is a neighbor, she is a friend. Laura Jean came to me with this idea that she had after seeing somebody on Instagram, but she decorated her Christmas tree in vintage clock faces. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta do that next year. So stuck that in the back of my head somewhere um, until just recently and I came to Lynn and was like, this is what I want to do, and I think we could do this. I think we could do this with old paint lids. Paint lids. Genius. We're going to share today exactly how we are creating the look of these antique clock faces. I mean, you can find these, but I'm telling you, they're pricey, and yeah. they're hard to find. I found these at a flea market this summer, and... I paid, I paid probably like $10 to $12 each for them. You can afford to do a whole tree in these. You're a better woman than I am <laughs> Girl, because I, <laughs> I could barely afford one of them on my Christmas tree. Yeah. If there's a way to do it and, mm -hmm. and create a copycat look, I am all about it. That's exactly what we're going to do today. The day you told me that, I was right downstairs <laughs> going through paint cans to see what I had. Yeah. that of paint that had dried out mm -hmm. so i'm going to show you some of the things that we um, are using because you don't have to use paint can lids you can also use some other things these are our lids this one here. here we go paint can lid paint this can one. lid a mason jar lid okay one of these lids to like one of those big fat pretzel containers mm -hmm. or cheese ball container these are wood discs these are some pages i purchased and downloaded from etsy lord jean's been busy doing all of these guys right here just a nice variety make sure that you Clean off like the excess paint that's on your lids. We both love that really crusty, grungy kind of look. So with some of these, I did leave the paint on them. But you can see I left some of that chippiness around here. This is a great, look at this. Oh my gosh. These are great, aren't they? The first thing that we did is we, cl we cleaned our pieces. We use a bonding primer, it's called Ultra Grip. So you would apply the Ultra Grip to the clean surface and let it dry for 24 hours. Then your paint is gonna bond to it. Then we need to decide if we need to add additional paint underneath. For example, this piece right here, the clock face didn't go all the way to that rim, so I base coated it with Fusion's cast iron paint. Now we're gonna decoupage all of these clock faces. Today we're gonna be using our decoupage and transfer gel. We really do want these to look grungy and old mm -hmm. and and they're gonna be like they're gonna be turned every which way on your tree. So it's really yeah. not gonna be a big deal if they're not perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do this guy too. We apply a nice generous even coat of my decoupage medium. If there's any excess that squeezes out the edges, that's actually a really good thing. And then I will apply my round paper clock face and press that in place, really making sure that that is completely adhered. Is I like to add a coat of my medium right over top of that so that it all dries as one and it'll help to reduce any bubbles or wrinkling that could occur. And I put a coat of the medium over top because that's gonna help uh, to prepare for the next step, which will be the crackle medium. 
I remember when we were talking and I just thought, oh my gosh, if we use the fine line crackle, it would look like enamel. Yes. Enamel faces. And I'm so, I've never done that, so I'm very excited to learn this. This is going to be a new thing for me. Well, I'm excited to teach you because it's yes. really an awesome product. For the next step of the video, I will be using Pentart's fine line crackle medium system. It's a two part crackle medium and it creates a really glossy, almost enamel like effect. It's important to remember that these need to be applied on a dry, clean surface. So we're gonna go ahead and start with step one, which is the cracking primer. And I want to use a clean, dry brush to apply the first coat of the cracking primer. And I want to apply a generous even coat over your clock face. I don't want to overwork this. If I get to a point where this is starting to drag and lift up, I know that I'm overworking it. So apply it quickly and evenly until the surface is completely covered. Now what you'll notice is it is like a white glue-like finish. This is going to dry down to a transparent base coat finish. Once you have component one applied, you would set these aside to dry completely. Next step is the second component of the fine line crackle finish. And this is like an amber colored um, medium. Again, we're gonna use a clean, dry brush. I like a softer bristle. This is really sticky, almost honey-like, mm -hmm. I would say like a thin honey. You will apply an even coat over the surface until it's completely covered. Again, you don't want it to drag because that will lift component two and make it so it's not pretty and smooth in the end. When I feel my brush beginning to drag a little bit, I know that I have to reload it and apply more of the second component. The second component has been applied and has dried. Now, I did get some great cracking right off the bat. This one. If you don't see the cracks evidence themselves, you can hit it with a heat gun and it'll only take a minute or so. So we have a kind of a cooler, rainy day here today, so that might affect those cracks occurring. Oh, that one finally did. Look at that, all of a oh, sudden. Yeah. Wow, wow, that all of a sudden, that just took off. To add to the authenticity, we're just gonna take a drill with the right size bit, and I'm gonna carefully drill right into that metal. There you go, and then I just take a little sanding pad little sandpaper to buff out that edge a little bit. I'm going to use the Pentart uh, Umber Antique Paste and the Pentart Gold Wax Paste for these. We'll start with the umber on the lighter colors here. So I just get a little bit on my finger and then I'm just gonna rub this around on the surface and really rub it down into those cracks. And then we'll wipe away any excess and look at that. Oh, yeah. There's that beautiful glossy pretty cracked finish. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not getting any cracking yet over here. You will. When you put the heat gun on it, yeah, yeah, that's when it'll it'll happen. So then you have the backs of these. I think, Laura Jean, you spray painted the ears, Some didn't of them, you? Yeah. yeah. So you can to... finish the backs however you want to. Yeah. I think I'm just going to paint the backs of mine with black. Mm -hmm. To finish the fine line crackle, you must use a solvent-based varnish. That's the stinky stuff. Otherwise, the surface will turn gummy. I use Pentart's solvent-based varnish in the glossy finish. I used quarter inch velvet ribbon, run through the holes in my clock faces to attach them to my tree. I think Laura Jean and I recreated the exact look that we wanted for our Christmas trees this year. The clock faces turned out great. They definitely have a vintage vibe to them and they certainly are budget friendly. You can find Laura Jean at Mobile Home Cottage over on Instagram and on Home Talk. I'll share the links below. Thanks for hanging out with us here today at LJ Goods for this vintage clock face tutorial. I'll share the links for each of the products in the description box below. Easy. Do us a big favor and while you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let us know in the comments below what you think of this tutorial. LJ Goods is located at 435 Main Street in Medina, New York or at LJ Goods. Com. This Christmas we have two kittens at the cottage, so I had to think of a way to kitten proof the tree. No antique ornaments for me this year, instead I'm using these clock faces, battery operated candles, and some wooden spindles. Now our tree is kitten proof. Mm -hmm.